Hello everyone! Welcome back to our online classroom. Today, I will discuss to you all about elementary logic, connectives, quantifiers, and negations. Let us start with defining logic. Logic is the study of methods and principles used to discriminate correct from incorrect reasoning. As a student, you must know how to reason out logically and test the validity of an argument about any matter. In this lesson, you will learn about connectives, quantifiers, and negations, which are essentials to the modern logic and its symbolic language. Let us start with connectives. What is connectives in mathematics? A function, or the symbol representing a function, which corresponds to English conjunctions such as and, or, not, and etc. Com connectives are used to create a compound statement. So here, we have two simple statements. We are going to use connectives or conjunctions in English to create a compound statement. So the first example here is, the highest mountain in the Philippines is Mount Apo. That is the first simple statement. The second simple statement is, the, the second highest mountain in the Philippines is Mount Pulag. We are going to use the connectives, connective and to create a compound statement. So this will be the compound statement. The highest mountain in the Philippines is Mount Apo and the, has, and the second highest mountain is Mount Pulag. The next example here is, we will go to Kamigan Island. The second simple statement, we will go to Mactan Island. We are going to use OR as our connective to create a compound statement with this second example. We will go to Kamigan Island or we will go to Mactan Island. Now, as I have said earlier that to create a compound statement, connectives like AND, OR, IF, THEN, and IF and ONLY IF are used. The symbol P, Q, R, and S represent simple statements. Now, I will show you the symbol used for connectives in mathematics. So, if we have this connective AND, we are going to use this symbol. And the type of statement is conjunction. If we have this connective OR, we are going to use this, sim this symbol. The type of statement is disjunction. If we have this connective IF, THEN, we are going to use this symbol. Type of statement is conditional. If we have this connective IF and ONLY IF, we are going to use this symbol. And the type of statement is biconditional. Now, let's go back to the first example that we give um, in the previous slide. The first example of compound statement, which is the highest mountain in the Philippines, is Mount Apo, and the second highest mountain is Mount Pulag, may be written using the following symbol. So the first statement that we have is the highest mountain in the Philippines is Mount Apo. The symbol we are, that we are going to use is the P. The second highest mountain is Mount Pulag, that will be Q. So the compound statement that we created is the highest mountain in the Philippines is Mount Apo, and the second highest mountain is Mount Pulag. This will be the symbol P and Q. Ayan yung pagbasa niyan, P and Q. Next, the second example of compound statement, which is, we will go to Kamigan Island or we will go to Mactan Island, may be written using the following symbol. The first statement is P, the second statement is Q, and... The compound statement that we created is we will go to Kamigan Island or we will go to Mactan Island. This will be the symbol. Uh, this reads as P or Q. And now, let's proceed with the quantifiers and negations. Let us start with quantifiers. All freshman students are graduates of K-12 curriculum is a quantified statement which is a statement containing quantifiers. The quantifier used is all. So the word like all, there exists, and none are examples of quantifiers. Essential quantifiers like there exists and at least one are used to emphasize the existence of something. Words like none and no deny the existence of something. And words like all and every stress out that every element satisfies a condition. These words are called universal quantifiers. Now, what is negation? Negation, it is the opposite statement. So, if we have these examples of quantifiers like no, some, all, and etc., the negation is the opposite statement. So, this will be the example. 
if we have this quantified statement, no y or z, the negation of that is some y or z. The quantified statement, some y or z, that will be no y or z. Next, some y or not z, the negation of that or the opposite statement is all y or z. Thus, example here is all y or z, negation of that is some y or not z. To visualize this, we will give uh, examples para mas maintindihan pa ninyo lalo. Okay, if we have this quantified statement, all school gates are open. So, babalik tayo doon sa table natin, all ang ginamit. All school gates are open. Ayan. Ngayon, ano yung negation niyan? That, uh, the negation of that is some y are not z. So, dapat, uh, ang negation is some gates are not open. Ayan. Next, quantified statement. Some drinks in the school canteen are espresso-based. What will be the negation? The negation of that is no drinks in the school canteen are espresso-based. Bakit? Kasi sinabi nilang naman dito na some drinks in the school canteen are espresso-based. Ayan. Pero kung sinabi niya dito na some drinks in the school canteen are not espresso-based, the negation of that will, so will start with all. Ayan. Go back to the... Uh, table na nabigay ko para mas maintindihan pa ninyo lalo. Next is quantified statement, no students are wearing their school uniforms. The negation of that is some students are wearing their school uniform. 